So maybe you're thinking of buying a condo in Whistler for some of your own personal weekend use and maybe a bit of rental income to offset your ownership costs. Sounds like a good plan. But when you first start looking at Whistler condos and townhomes online, it starts to get confusing pretty quickly. Phase one, phase two, hotel condos, it can all seem like a bit of a mess. So I'm gonna explain it all right now. The first thing you need to understand is that if you're planning to buy a property in Whistler to be able to do nightly rentals for income, you have to be looking in the areas of Whistler that are zoned to allow nightly rentals. These areas are Whistler Village, all the properties up at Blackcomb, as well as parts of Whistler Creekside. You can't just buy a house in Alpine Meadows and list it on Airbnb. Those neighborhoods are not zoned to allow nightly rentals. They're residential only. There's a video up here that gives you a few great ski in, ski out nightly rental options to think about. So here's the deal. If you wanna buy a Whistler condo or townhouse that's on or near the slopes and you wanna be able to do your own rentals with Airbnb, Verbo or any other property manager and you want to be able to do some renovations to improve the property then what you want is a phase one property. A phase one property means that the resort municipality of Whistler has it zoned for nightly rentals and there's no owner use restriction on it. This covers just about any property in the nightly rental zoned areas of Whistler I mentioned before. Whistler Village, Blackcomb Benchlands and Whistler Creekside. But in those areas, you also have phase two condo hotel properties, which is where it gets confusing. The phase two restrictive covenant means that there's a 56 days a year owner use restrictive covenant placed on them by the resort municipality of Whistler. This restrictive covenant limits owner use to 28 days in the winter and 28 days in the summer. These phase two properties are easy to identify because they're primarily the hotel condos such as the Cascade Lodge, the Weston Whistler, the Pan Pacific Mountainside, the Pan Pacific Whistler Village Center, the Four Seasons, the Delta Suites, Pinnacle International, the Alpenglow, and so on. You get the idea. So which one's better, phase one or phase two? That depends entirely on your family's use case. If you want a larger property like a two or three bedroom condo or a townhome, or you want to be able to do renovations and Airbnb for rentals, then you should be looking at a phase one property. The phase two condo hotels are primarily studio or one bedroom units with small kitchens or kitchenettes. And because they're in hotels, you can't renovate them on your own or do your own nightly rentals. You have to stick with the existing hotel management program. Also, if you want to come use your property whenever you want, and as long as you want, then you'd need to be in a phase one property. But if you want a simple turnkey investment condo to come use on the occasional weekend with very little brain damage, then a phase two condo hotel unit at the West End, for example, could be just perfect. And phase two condo hotel units are usually a lot less expensive than comparable phase one condos because of their size and that 56 day per year usage restriction. That typically keeps a lid on their pricing because it's a smaller segment of the market that is looking for a property with an owner use restriction on it. So I hope this helps you understand the nuances in the different types of condos and townhomes here in Whistler. Drop any questions in the comments below and I'll get back to you right away. And if you wanna personally discuss your Whistler property needs with me directly, my contact details are down in the description. Now, if you'd like to take a look at my top three new Whistler listings that have come on the market this week, click right here. And if you never wanna miss another video, just subscribe.